This simulation shows how India's anti-satellite technology locks onto a target and then destroys it. NASA says it's identified 400 pieces of orbital debris from India's recent test. It's tracking 60 pieces that are 10 centimeters or more in diameter. Of those 60, we know that 24 of them are going above the apogee of the International Space Station. That is a terrible, terrible thing to create an event that sends debris in an apogee that goes above the International Space Station. And that kind of activity is not compatible with the future of human space flight that we need to see have happen. We are expecting contact. NASA says the chance of the ISS colliding with debris has risen by 44 percent over 10 days. Officials say they can maneuver the space station if they need to. Zero. India's space agency, though, insists that it carried out its test in a low Earth orbit, far from the ISS and other satellites. And India's prime minister says that his country is not becoming an aggressor in space. I want to assure the global community that this new ability that we have achieved is not against anyone. It is a defensive initiative of a fast-moving India. As the extraterrestrial disputes between Washington and New Delhi intensifies, the Trump administration is moving forward with plans for a U.S. space force. The White House says the new branch of the military will help defend vital national interests in space. But this controversy shows that the competition between the world's great powers has already launched into space. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.